As you can see, we have walked through the books in stone. And you can imagine how long it would take to interpret everything on here. As I said, all the middle nature cannot be interpreted. But we can interpret some of the things that are repetitious, as we have done, by the way, and I, especially concepts that we are very much familiar with. Concepts that we know like Sa-Ra, Son of God, Neb Kadu, Lord King of Kings, and things of that nature, especially that we see in the Bible. And speaking of the Bible, we see that the opening pages in the Bible and the Genesis story, by the way, which is a Greek name that means the beginning, it's not even Hebrew. And what we can do, come come in, then that way nobody has to walk through us. Keep it, just keep a passage back there, so that way they can go around, not through us. Okay, somebody comes through. So again, when we see that opening pages in the Bible, and as I said before, most people speak of the beginning of what they, the only beginning they've ever known, as though it's the beginning. The Hebrew beginning is not the beginning, it's a Hebrew story. And that's not the beginning of the story. And even though James Usher said the creation of the world was October 9th at 9 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> okay, birthday. at 4,000 years BCE. Now, where did James Usher come up with that date? He has to go, we have to go back to the Memphite theology. And the Memphite theology, the creation story, here we see the Ptah says, let there be light uttering the universe in what we know as the Zeptepi, the Kemetic creation story that predates the Hebrew story by thousands of years. So when we look at even that time period, that was a problem because that Memphite theology story is over 6,000 years old. But in what we see in the opening pages of the Bible, and we see that the, uh, the story is the first man and woman were created, Adam and Eve. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were not to eat of the tree of what? Good and evil. The knowledge. The, the knowledge, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Right. Okay. So here we see that Eve eats from this tree. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. And then she... Uh, seduces Adam to eat from this tree. And then that becomes the evils of the world because of her. But that idea is a corruption of the tree of Ma'at, of truth, justice, and righteousness. That means the Sar and a Set in the Zeptepi in the creation story, the first man and woman, they had to feed from the tree of Ma'at. Why Ma'at? Why, why do you have to feed from the tree of Ma'at? For that balance to be there. Truth, justice, and righteousness, okay? They have to be of truth, justice, and righteousness. Just like the Nisu, the king. He had to be of truth, justice, and righteousness to take the throne. So right above me, you see the tree of Ma'at. See the tree of Ma'at up there? Mm -hmm. So that tree of Ma'at was corrupted by the patriarchs. Corrupted into the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When in fact that tree was the tree of Ma'at, moral order and justice. Mm. And now incorporated into the biblical story in Genesis that that is the tree that Adam and Eve could not eat from. Why put the tree in the garden to, uh, uh, you know, entice them to go and eat from the tree? And then they eat from the tree and then they realize that they're naked. They realize that they got the anatomy of their body showing that man and woman are supposed to be together. And they use what they were supposed to do. See, So that tells you right there that something is wrong with the story when you look at natural law. Kemet could not have created anything like that because they looked at things from their empirical observation of natural order. Not natural nature. order in life, natural order of matnechik, mm -hmm. natural order in everything. And everything that is, is a spiritual law of opposites. That's why ma'at was so important. You can't come here and talk about gay rights here in Kemet. Because that would go against what? Ma'at. That would go against what? Matnechit. Mother Nature. Okay? Because the, the supreme balance is so delicate that everything has to be at a